day is our last day in Rome. Well, that didn't exactly go as planned. You should consider yourself lucky if you ever get the chance to yes. eat here. We are uh, starting our day off. We're gonna go visit. We're gonna go visit the Trevi Fountain and the Spanish Steps. Hopefully getting there early, it will be less crowded. They say the best laid plans of mice and men often go awry. Well, that didn't exactly go as planned. We, uh, we went to the Trevi Fountain. It was like 8.30 and just as we got there, the security was asking people to move up because they were getting ready to clean it. So not the best luck, but it was definitely less crowded. So definitely recommend going as early as you can. Um, but we're gonna go back here in a little bit because we're gonna try to do a tour that'll take you kind of underground um, under the Trevi Fountain. So hopefully we can do that, and hopefully when we go back, we can, uh, you know, do the infamous coin toss. Moving on. So a couple of fun facts about the Spanish Steps. The first is um, there are 135 steps up to the top, and it actually doesn't really have anything to do with Spanish design. A French diplomat actually funded the steps, and it was built by an Italian architect. And the reason it's called the Spanish Steps is because... The proximity of the Piazza de Spain. Yeah, and fun fact, another fun fact, you'll notice a lot of police presence and security here. Um, you cannot sit on the steps. If yes, you sit on the steps, they will... Tell you to get up. Tell you to get up. But you can sit on the fountain or near the fountain right at the bottom so but they are first come first serve so you'll have to be quick to get one. Oh, you almost had it you gotta be quicker than that Just a short and shady five minute walk from the Spanish Steps is the Terrace of Belvedere Avenue. I think if you look on Google Maps, it's gonna say Terraza Vial del Belvedere. But it is a gorgeous view overlooking all of Rome. So when he said shady, he meant like shade, not as in sketchy. Yes. <laughs> um, like, it's just a, a breezy a, walk and in the shade. That is a good clarification. So they have all these free water fountains all over the city. I think uh, there's like 2,500. You can actually scan the QR code right here and download an app and it'll tell you where they all are. It's really cool. But my favorite thing is not only can you just bring a water bottle, fill it up, but you can actually drink from it. So Clint's already done this. I have video of it and it went crazy that way. So we're going to try to not do Make sure it's clear. Yeah, yeah. All right, ready?
So we just ate lunch at Osteria de Fortunata. Which the, means lucky tavern in English. And, and it was and lucky. Uh, you should consider yourself lucky if you ever get the chance to yes. eat here. Especially eat uh, the carbonara. Yes, I had uh, cacio e pepe, which was still really good, but I, but I okay. regretted not getting carbonara. I took one bite of the carbonara and it was, it was something completely different. The pasta, I mean, they were making it yes. as we were ordering. Uh, you could see them making the pasta in the window. I mean, <laughs> we're almost just we, we might come back for dinner. It was that good. Yeah. Um, so cannot recommend this place enough. We've had a lot of pasta the past week we've been here and I think that was the best yeah. thing we've had Definitely. since we got here. The, the, the pork had like a crispy bacon, but it was meaty. Oh. I don't know how to explain it. I've never had anything like it in pasta yeah. and the noodles were so thick. Boy, he's thick! Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm speechless. Shucks, folks, I'm speechless. <laughs> So this is my submission for husband of the year. I just gave Lauren the rest of my carbonara, which is maybe the best thing we've eaten. So we don't normally leave lunch and then go sit down and order a bottle of wine, a cheese plate, and tiramisu. But when in Rome, am I right? <laughs> what? When in Rome? So we sat down, started talking to our server. We ended, we ended up getting a bottle of wine. And then we got a cheese platter, which was full of just... I think we had six different kinds. Three different types of... Cow cheese. Cow cheese, two different types of goat cheese, and a cheap cheese with a peach like marmalade Mar oh, jam so good. it was so good yes um, so so good that instead of eating tiramisu there we, we got had to get the to tiramisu go. to go because we were we were full on the cheese um and if you're wondering because they have 100 different kinds we have number 37 and 63 in this bag yeah mine's like a honey and uh, almost like a raisin yeah and mine is i believe strawberry banana and white chocolate yeah so we'll save that for later So we stopped at Fior, Fior de Luna, yes. which looks legit. It was too legit to quit. When we were on our food tour, our guide said... Uh, she, she basically said, uh, stay away from the poop. Yeah. So that's um, what we've done. But the way I would say that is if, it's, if the gelato is piled high, then say bye bye. If he totally just came up with that. If the gelato is what was it? If the gelato has, if the the color of the gelato is bright, say no no good night <laughs> or no 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 not tonight. <laughs> so look for that kind of setup and don't fall for the uh, tourist traps. Don't, don't fall for the poof. Yeah. I got, uh, no, no, Nichola. Nichola. Nichola pistachio. Oh, no. And I got pistachio and tiramisu. And my, tiramisu guy, my guy said that this is the Italian, the way, the Italian yeah. way to do it. Okay. Perfect mix. <laughs> yes. So I dragged Clint up here to get a shot of the Coliseum at night because I feel like that's just a bucket list item that I just had to cross off. Um, it was totally worth it. Okay, so admittedly I was not too thrilled about the idea about coming over here at night. It's about a 35 minute walk. It was raining when we uh, took off. It's been lightning around us. It's been really windy. I wasn't too crazy about it. But then we got here and it's a great way to end our trip to Rome with a visit to the Colosseum at night.